Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. This is Toya from Planning and Teaching. Today is another plan with me in my trendsetter. Um, we are setting up for this month. If you have not seen my previous video where I kind of did a little chit-chatting with you guys and just bringing you in on what's been going on, please go check that out. I will put a card up here for you guys to see that. But anyway, even though it's about to be the 12th, we're going to go ahead and get started with... Um, March um, as I said before I'm not really sure how I want to use the monthly pages I think I may be like jotting down ideas so I'm gonna leave my monthly page completely clean so we're gonna be working on the actual um, two sheets that um, contain um, the setup for the trendsetter as well as the monthly dashboard which is here so we're going to start with the monthly dashboard so i'm bringing you guys in a little bit just to kind of go with this purple color i'm going to use this lavender paper make flare pen so what am i planning um a new blogging series What am I watching? All new shows. I am cooking new recipes. I'm eating clean. I am drinking water. Where am I going? Um, exploring. I'm always loving the Lord and my family. What am I dreaming? Um, just of success. Dreaming of success. I like that. Feeling blessed. Listening to Beyonce. I've been pulling out my Beyonce CDs a little bit more. Um, as you guys know, I always color, cover up celebrating this month and birthdays this month, but I'm not going to cover up celebrating anymore. And the reason why is at the end of the month, I want to put things that I I was successful with. Um, so when I'm using the monthly trackers, I want to be able to say I was successful in doing something. So I am going to cover up the... Um, birthdays this month. It is the mini, but I am going to just I'm gonna show you guys what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna use this sticker here, but I'm only gonna use a portion of it. gonna use that so celebrating this month and then I can put all the things that I'm celebrating um, for this month and I can put any kind of decor that I want to there so I'm gonna put the rest of the sticker back into my sticker book I'm be able to use it in my mini happy planner so we'll put that up and then I'm going to find a nice inspirational quote Completely out of clear stickers in this quote sticker book. I think this will fit. Yeah. It says a year from now, you will wish you had started today. But it doesn't fit. So I'm not going to use that one there. The blessing is that the um, stickers from the sticker books from the... Happy Planner line are very forgiving. I like this. Big ideas get it done. And I like that it doesn't really um, have a lot of colors. It pulls in some of this blue and green there. So this is all I'm going to do to my monthly dashboard so far. So let's go ahead and pull out 
the monthly pages. And if you guys want to know how I achieved this look and why, um, go check out, like I said, that previous video that I left a card for in the beginning and it will explain everything to you guys. So, as you guys know, I use this for a um, social media planner. Um, and so, I my monthly goals are going to be the same as last month's, but I'm going to change things up just a little bit. So, on IG, I'm going to have a, um, something for that, something for YouTube. And something for the blog okay so for Instagram I want to gain 500 subbies on YouTube I want to gain 900 followers and for my blog I just want to increase traffic. Okay. So my top three this month is just going to be um, to write, to pin, and to promote. So my monthly habit tracker, what, um, my black paper mate flare I'm gonna mark through everything leading up until the 12th because I have not been able to plan in this planner like I like to um, so far this month so those days will not count beforehand so my monthly habit tracker that I want to put first is um, a blog post, IG, and that includes posts, um, and then the IG stories, because I'm pretty good about recording every week, okay? So, so um, anything that I need to do on my checklist, like I need to do an intro video, I want to do um, a... Um, planning room tour and then the rest I'm just going to leave open so that I can increase you guys know that I like to use this for inspiration so I'm going to leave that blank um, I want to focus on writing I want to focus on the content Um, I also want to focus on just posting and communicating. I really want to talk to you guys. So, like, leave me comments, guys. I would love to hear from you. Um, and those are the top four. I don't like to fill out eight because I just feel like eight is just a little too much. So, I'm going to go into my productivity sticker book. And I, that's where I'm going to pull my inspiration. I'm going to go into my productivity sticker book. That's where I'm going to get my inspiration from um, for this month. Uh, there's not a lot of clear stickers in here. There are a few, so. I do like this Get It Girl sticker, so I'm going to use this one. And I'm going to put it note to self. Get it, girl. Perfect. And the quotes that I want to use here. And I really want to use this space, I think. I want to use this particular space for um, just brainstorming. So... I'm going to put a sticker here, but it won't be like I normally do. I'm going to 
use this sticker that says be different. So when I'm brainstorming ideas, I want to be unique and I want to stand out. So I'm going to use this be different sticker here. And then that leaves me all this room to write. So that's what I'm going to be doing. Um, one of the things that I want to put on here to focus on, so I'm going to use this fifth one, is basically write, using my trendsetter every week just to kind of touch base, see what I'm doing, what I'm not doing, so that I can make sure I don't fall into the trap of making these plans and then not achieving those goals. You got to do the work, guys, when you make plans. So um, I'm going to go ahead and grab some silver. You know, I like to decorate around these stickers with the trendsetter. Um, I love these little pieces. So I'm just going to use two this week. I think that looks really nice like that. So yeah. So that's going to wrap up my trendsetter for this month. Um, I love the way it turned out. I will show you guys the end of the month in my trendsetter so you can see how I used it. So I'm going to go ahead and quickly pop this back in. Um, as you guys know that this month I will also be doing an updated... Um, planner video just to tell you guys what planners I'm currently using and which ones um, didn't make the cut so stay tuned for that as well that'll be coming at the end of the month you pretty much know the planners that I already use but I will give an explanation as to why so today is the day guys I love love this divider but all right guys so that's gonna wrap up the, today's plan with me in my trendsetter so um thanks so much for watching keep god first in everything you do give this video a thumbs up and make sure you click that red subscribe button as well as the bell so you'll be notified when new videos come out and as always happy planning and teaching you guys bye